Though you may not know it, some of the world's greatest technological innovations came from creations originally developed for the military. Here are seven futuristic military technologies that are under development now. During a combat mission, soldiers can't always be sure what awaits them. That's where the Dogo tactical combat robot comes in. Dogo could quite literally revolutionize counterterrorism operations around the world. Defense News describes Dogo as the world's first armed tactical combat robot. Eight onboard cameras with 360-degree day or night vision provide enhanced situational awareness. With its dual-track drive system, Dogo can easily climb stairs or drive over obstacles and operate indoors as well as on rough outdoor terrain. Dogo is remotely operated by a ruggedized integrated controller and communication module, the Panasonic Ranger Remote Control Unit. The module includes a configurable interface with full two-way duplex audio for negotiation and communication. Finally, Dogo has one last surprise for confirmed hostile targets. Safely tucked away inside Dogo's center compartment is a standard Glock 26 pistol. With point-and-shoot capabilities, Dogo can fire five rounds in two seconds. Say goodnight, bad guys. Should the situation call for a measure of restraint, Dogo can also fire pepper spray. According to TaskAndPurpose.com, Dogo will soon be in production, certainly saving the lives of soldiers and civilians alike. Today's soldiers carry a good deal of weight in supplies and equipment. On a typical 72-hour mission, each soldier must carry around 16 to 20 pounds of batteries to power electronic gear. Now, Canadian company Bionic Power is developing the PowerWalk Energy Harvester, an amazing way to produce electric power. Wearing a power harvester on each leg, the PowerWalk can generate 10 to 12 watts of power, enough to fully charge up to four smartphones. Using an onboard microprocessor, a gearbox, and a generator, mechanical power is converted to electricity. Once generated, the power can be stored in lithium-ion rechargeable batteries, providing electricity for communications, navigation, and optics equipment. In addition to military applications, the PowerWalk Energy Harvester may someday be used for disaster relief efforts or just a backcountry hiking trip. Bionic Power is beginning multi-unit field trials with the U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps in 2017. Someday soon, getting power in the wilderness could be as easy as taking a stroll. Imagine you're driving down the highway and see a convoy of huge military trucks approaching with no one behind the wheel. Believe it or not, it's already possible. Soldiers in military vehicles in hostile territory are under constant threat from enemy ground forces and improvised explosive devices. In conjunction with Lockheed Martin, the U.S. Army and Marine Corps are developing the AMAS CAD Automated Truck Convoy. AMAS CAD, short for Autonomous Mobility Application System Capabilities Advancement Demonstration, is an ongoing series of tests designed to evaluate driverless technology. Using commercially available sensors and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, tests have shown that the vehicles can obey the rules of the road while safely interacting with pedestrians and other traffic. This technology, proven to work in a variety of military vehicles, is ideal for delivering supplies during natural disasters or resupplying troops in the field. In the private sector, Torque Robotics has developed the GUS, or Ground Unmanned Support Surrogate Autonomous Vehicle, a modified M1161 Growler. Transported to the field by helicopter, GUS can function as an autonomous companion to military units, reducing the soldier's load by carrying supplies or transporting wounded soldiers from the battlefield. Over time, increased military use of autonomous vehicle technology promises to increase soldier survivability rates and that's a very good thing. In a news conference on February 25, 2014, U.S. President Barack Obama jokingly announced that the military was building its own Iron Man. And in truth, the U.S. Special Operations Command has been working on a highly futuristic next-generation combat suit 
planned for use by Special Ops Forces, the Talos, or Tactical Light Operator Suit, is being designed with incredibly sophisticated technology. Some of the technologies planned for Talos research and development include advanced armor, command and control computers, power generators, and enhanced mobility exoskeletons. With the intention of producing a prototype by 2018, the defense industry, academic sector, and other innovators are currently involved in the effort. One such company is Revision, which has attracted major media attention with its highly advanced military kinetic operations suit, including a flexible mechanical spine that runs from a power-assisted exoskeleton to the helmet. The Revision suit incorporates advanced power armor, integrated electronic devices, a liquid cooling system, and state-of-the-art optics. Long known for innovations in military optics and headgear solutions, Revision plans to integrate extremely advanced headgear into the Talos design. Though it may not quite measure up to Iron Man status, Talos promises to present a major challenge to the enemies of peace and freedom. Wait, what on earth was that? you're looking at the Leg Squad Support System, or LS3. A joint project from Boston Dynamics and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, this four-legged mechanical beast was put through extensive trials by the U.S. Marines. Able to carry 400 pounds of gear and handle difficult terrain, the LS3 can cover 20 miles in 24 hours without refueling. Programmed to follow a sensor attached to a bracelet worn by a soldier, the LS3 can also follow basic voice commands, such as sit, follow, and stay. Unfortunately, despite its strong points, the LS3 program has been canceled, largely because its engine is so loud that the military feared it would give away soldiers' positions to the enemy. Also, the LS3 is susceptible to gunfire. Though a smaller, quieter version was built called Spot, it could only carry 40 pounds of gear and was also gunfire vulnerable. But even though there are currently no plans for upgrades, we may not have seen the last of the robotic mule. The U.S. Marine Corps says they are still impressed with the robotic technology involved. If a quieter engine and suitable armor can be developed, the LS-3 could step back into service. Though vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are awesome examples of cutting-edge technology, a number of drawbacks have made it difficult for them to reach full performance potential. In a determined effort to further perfect the technology, DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, plans to develop the VTOL X-Plane, an unmanned aircraft that combines both fixed-wing and rotary-wing technologies. In a major step toward achieving that goal, DARPA has awarded the Phase II contract to build a prototype aircraft to Aurora Flight Sciences. Aurora's proposed design, the highly unusual-looking Lightning Strike, will be a marvel of modern engineering and innovation. The Lightning Strike will be the first aircraft in history to employ distributed hybrid electric propulsion ducted fans. These fans will be located inside two large rear rotating wings and two smaller front rotating canards. Along with some advanced subsystems, rotational thrust will provide high efficiency during vertical takeoff and landing, hovering, or in high-speed forward flight. In a March 2016 flight of a subscale model, Aurora's novel design successfully demonstrated the basic design, paving the way for the development of the full-scale prototype. DARPA hopes to begin flight testing in 2018. For years, military forces have struggled to find a way to avoid having their air and ground vehicles detected by infrared systems. If this technology could be achieved, those who held it would possess a tremendous battlefield advantage. Unfortunately, that's always been completely impossible, but not anymore. BAE Systems is doing the impossible by developing Adaptive, an unbelievable camouflage system that enables even a moving vehicle to become completely invisible to thermal imaging equipment by blending in with its surroundings or displaying pre-programmed images. Adaptive works through an array of hexagonal plates which can be rapidly heated and cooled to form any desired image. According to DefenseUpdate.com, the pattern is determined by an onboard computer fed by onboard cameras that pick up the background scenery. 
The panels can also mimic other objects saved in memory, such as another vehicle or a large rock. To reduce the chances of friendly fire, they can also display identification tags. The panels are so strong they're also useful as armor protection. Not limited to ground vehicles, adaptive can be applied to aircraft, naval vessels, and fixed installations. As far as we know, military vehicles can't yet be made invisible to the naked eye. If they can, though, the military isn't talking. <laughs>